I saw Juice roll that purple fest two years ago. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. I'm this year's VP Communications. Hi, I'm Rainy. Um, I'm in first year Ivy and I'm one of your CSA marketing directors. Hi, I'm Alan. I'm in second year BMOS and I'm the other marketing co-director. Uh, so our department works closely with our videos and graphics departments to put out promotional content for CSA. We're also in charge of managing our social accounts such as Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and our blog, which is csawestern.com. Uh, my favorite event on CSA was CSA Retreat, which is an internal retreat where we go to an Airbnb for a weekend and we get really tight and close with each other. It's super nice. Um, my favorite event was uh, Western Voice, which is typically our flagship event for CSA. This year, due to circumstances, we won't having won't, we won't be having the exact same event, but you can look forward to what's coming instead. Um, I really enjoy CSA boothing because that's when you get to meet people in the community, and you also get to bond with other execs who are at booth with you. That's facts. <laughs> Sorry. I joined CSA because uh, I feel like. Uh, Asians in general are really marginalized in the arts and our club really helps to, you know, push push that through different events such as Western Boys and fight against that, you know. Um, so my answer is not as deep as Alan's, but I joined CSA last year because I had friends who joined it in first year and they really enjoyed their experience on the team, so I wanted to see what the hype was about. I actually knew nothing about CSA coming into Western, but I was just pulled at booth and it seemed really fun and everyone's really nice, so yeah, I just joined the family like that. Join CSA if you're looking for really nice friends. We're all a family here and everyone's super welcoming. If you're looking for just people to vibe with, to eat with, study with, whatever, well, where it's at. But. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Um, my advice for Frosh is not to take yourself too seriously. Mm. University is a daunting experience, but you'll see that it's easier to just take it as it comes and the experiences aren't so scary once you're in them. I think my advice is not to be afraid to ask questions. Whenever you encounter like an upper year or whatever, like you, usually they're really down to answer your questions, no matter if it's about clubs, like school life, courses, whatever it is, don't be afraid to ask questions. Um, I would just say to put yourself out there and be spontaneous. If your roommate asks you to go out one night, just do it. You don't know who you're gonna meet and I've made a lot of close connections just by being a bit spontaneous. My go-to bubble tea order is mango green tea with coconut jelly, 50% um, sugar and less ice. Um, I have two go-to's. One of them is jasmine milk tea with tapioca, 50% sugar and less ice, or matcha latte with the same add-ons. Jasmine milk tea, 30% sugar, no ice. My most recent concert was NCT 127. Um, my most recent concert was Khalid, which was last summer. I saw Juice World at Purple Fest two years ago. Rest in peace. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Alan's so much. Rest in peace to Juice, come on. <laughs> my high king. 999. Shut up. I think we need to switch directors. <laughs> My favorite movie is Pride and Prejudice. Yeah, the most recent version. Um, my favorite movie is Love, Rosie. I cry a lot during it. Mine is Whiplash. If you're a band kid, you're gonna cry. 